Hello there once again everybody, Breezy Obbs here with you once again, along with Ready Unknown Fox and Patrick Butler. You got it. And I'm, I'm trying something not on my feet, I don't think it's gonna work. Alright. Jay, that's you too. And if it, and if it does, then spread up the eye. Alright. In which it's time for another birthday special, which this time it is for V. Welch 92, who's turning 21 years of age. And this is also going to count as towards my Labor Day special, so this is a two-in-one. This is a birthday special for Veronica and a Labor Day special for me. In which we're going to start things off with Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Make the Grade for the Nintendo Wii. That was one of the segments she requested. <laughs> The number of um, segments I do will be randomized. By the way, hey Jay. I want that Koopa! No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Here we go! Okay, let's get our player out here. Alright, Patrick. Whatever I win in this game goes to Veronica and not me. Glad to be here, Jeff. Okay, let me tell you how this works. On the board are ten subjects. They range in difficulty from first grade to fifth grade. You can pick them in any order you want, but before you do, remember that each of your classmates has a few subjects that they're really good at. So you might want to ask what they are before you make your choice. The first question you get right will get you $1,000. The money goes up from there. The tenth question is worth $500,000. If you ace that test, you'll get one more grade school question, and if you get that one right, we're going to give you one million dollars. Let me tell you how your classmates can help you. You have two cheats. You may peek at your classmates paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it, or you can go with your own. You have one copy, which means you must take the answer that your classmate has written down. And once during the game, they can save you, which means if you have the wrong answer, but your classmate has the right answer, you're saved, you get to keep the money and advance in the game. And finally, if at any point during the test it proves to be too much, you can drop out of school and take the money that you've bankrolled. You can only use each cheat once, and when they're gone, you won't be able to get any help from your classmates for the rest of the game, so use them wisely. Now remember, if the test gets too tough, you can walk away at any time and take the money and run. But before you do that, you have got to tell the world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> are you willing to accept those terms? Yes. Here we go. And let's get going. Now the idea here is to pick someone I'll smarter start with Karen. than you to be your classmate. So any of these kids ought to do fine. Well, I'm going to go with Karen. All right. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. Earth science, astronomy, spelling, reading, social studies, life science, physical science, U.S. geography, math, art. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. First grader at science. Okay. For one thousand dollars, here's the question. True or false? Layers of soil are called Tom soil horizons. Your answer very quickly. True or false? Layers of soil are called soil horizons. You know what? I'll say true. Okay, I'm locking in my. I'm head. guessing. You are now locked in. 
you've got one thousand dollars. Yes. Woohoo! I was just guessing. Pick your next. First subject. grade astronomy. Okay. The two thousand dollar question. Is True or false? Earth revolves around the sun. That's definitely true. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. There you go. You're locked in. You've got $2,000. Yeah, yo. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another Jeff. classmate. It's you and me, Jed. Cool. All right. Which subject do you want? Second grade spelling. Okay. The $5,000 question is three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How many vowels are there total in these three chow times? E A. There's three vowels in breakfast, one in lunch, two in dinner, so the answer is six. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Three plus one is four, and then another is two. Yep, six. We're now locked in. <clears throat> You've got five thousand. Yeah! Excellent. Three for breakfast, one for lunch, and two for dinner. That was easy. Which subject do you Second want? grade reading. All right, for $10,000, may we see... Which of the following please? characters would you find in a Hans Christian Andersen tale? Charlotte, Wilbur, the Ugly Duckling, Clifford. I know this one. It's the Ugly Duckling. Charlotte and Wilbur would be found in an E.B. White story. Clifford is someone else. You are now locked in. $10,000. That one was really Ooh. easy. The ugly duckling, of course, turned out to be a swan. It's time to call a new classmate Justin. to the podium. It's you and me, Justin. Yes! Yes! Okay, if I get this next question right, I get Veronica no less than 25000 Pick another Third subject. grade social studies. Okay. You get this next question right, and you leave with The president is the leader of no which branch govern of leader. government? Judicial branch? Legislative branch? Executive branch? Federal branch? Justin is locked in his... I believe it's the executive. Okay. I'm the president is the leader of which branch of government? I believe it's the executive. All right, your answer's locked in. You got that one. Right. Yes! Outstanding! Thank you, Jeff. Which subject do you A third want? grade life science, please. <clears throat> okay. No matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen... What kind of diet does a shark have? The exact Omnivorous? That you have right Herbivorous? There. Carnivorous? Your classmate is locked in. Shark. I believe it's a uh, carnivorous, but just to be sure, I'd like to use a cheat, <laughs> and I'll peek. I'm going to have to peek at my classmates' answer. I just want to be safe. Let's just sneak a peek here at your classmates' answer. Carnivorous. Okay, that was my guess. If you're happy with locking in. I will trust them. There you go. You're locked I in. I just wanted to be sure. I didn't want to doubt myself. You're going for fifty thousand dollars. You've got fifty thousand yes! dollars. Could have saved that cheap, but I wanted to be sure. Carnivores that mostly eat fish are called piscivores. It's time to decide which one Melissa. of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. It's you and me, Melissa. Let's do this. Which subject? Fourth do you grade want? physical science. Okay. 
You're playing for 100,000. On the periodic table, what element is represented by the letters AU? Copper, gold, actinium, silver. It's gold. Okay. I'm Martin absolutely Lance. sure it's gold. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for $100,000. You've got $100,000. Yep. That one was easy. Excellent. <laughs> you came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? I'm a college student, Jeff. The symbol for gold comes from the Latin word aurum. Which subject? I'd like fourth grade U.S. geography. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five. Two U.S. rivers are over two thousand miles please. long. One is the Mississippi. What is the other? Missouri, Rio Grande, Ohio, Colorado. Your classmate is now locked in. Okay, it's a fifty-fifty on this one. I know it's not the Rio Grande. It's not the Ohio. It's either the Missouri or the Colorado. Mississippi was the other. I'm gonna go for it on my own. You can do it. Don't drop out. I'm not gonna drop out. It's either Missouri or Colorado. You know what? I'm gonna try it on my own and say the Missouri. Okay. I'm locking in my answer. Oh, uh, but I'm. There it's not go. the Rio Grande and it's in. not the Ohio. You're going for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. I don't know what took you so long, but you did manage to come up with the right answer. Yes! All right. Great job. The Mississippi, two thousand three hundred fifty miles. The Missouri, two thousand three hundred forty-one miles. Thank God. You're down to your. And I still last have my copy mate. cheat and uh, my save. Cool. So, I'm in good shape here. Pick another subject. Fifth grade math. Okay. The $300,000 question True or false? Is... 87 is a prime number. Um... No, that's false. Paul is locked. Locking in. That is definitely false. 87 is not a prime number. All right, your answer. Because twenty-nine in. times three is eighty-seven. You're going for three hundred thousand dollars. You got that one right. Yes. Yes. Outstanding. Eighty-seven can be factored into three and twenty-nine. Okay, last question before we go to the million-dollar question. Okay, for half a million dollars. Here's when artists question. draw eyes, they are usually made looking at something. What do we call that imaginary line? Line of sight, line of point, line of vision, or line of view? Line of sight, I don't think is it. I think it's a line of vision, so I'm gonna try it on my own. Okay, I'm walking I'm gonna way. not use my copy cheat, I'm gonna go for it on my own. Okay, there it is, your answer's locked in. You're going for five hundred thousand dollars. That's no. Oh. oh! If Paul can oh, save man. me, that's just incredible. If Paul can save me, then I'm okay. Let's see if your classmate question. knows this stuff. When artists draw eyes, they're usually made looking at something. What do we call that imaginary line? You he saved me. Fifth graders to come through in a pen. It's line of sight. Yes. It's line of sight, so he saved me. You've got five hundred thousand dollars. Thank God. Your classmate just bailed you out big time. You're awesome. Thank you. You do understand what you're going to be playing for next, right? I sure do. It's the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. And it's time to find out the subject of the million dollar question. And Animal science. The million dollar subject. 
Now you'll need to make the call. Oh. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with Animal Science. Oh dear. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with 25000 Or you could get it right. And win a million dollars. I already got Veronica 25 what grand no matter what. Do do? Oh boy. You know what? You only live once. I'm going for it. I'm going for the million, baby. Oh boy. It doesn't get any bigger than this question. You are playing for one million dollars. An insect's exoskeleton is made out of what hard substance? Think carefully An now. An insect's this is exoskeleton. Oh my. An insect skeleton is made out of what hard substance? I have an inkling that it's chitin. Exoskeleton. It's C-H-I-T-I-N. Oh, chitin. Oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna lock in on chitin. I'm going to lock in my- Oh, whoa. Careful. I won't spill my drink. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. Oh my. I can't take much more of this. Come on. Is it chitin? You've won $1 yes! million! Dollars. Yeah! I won! I got it! <laughs> you are just amazing! This is amazing. What? I'm so happy. Become a believer, pal. You just won a million dollars. Congratulations! Unlike the majority of our contestants, you are smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. So I won Veronica one million dollars. And I am smarter than a fifth grader yeah, once again. What's that? That's a strong start. Uh-huh. I'll tell you that the next segment, even though Veronica did not request it, I'm thinking about playing Wheel of Fortune for the Wii. See if I can win her a million dollars there, too. But before we go off the air, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Breezy Obbs, and I'm a college student, and I can say that once again, I am smarter than a fifth grader. That's it for Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? See y'all for the next segment, coming up.